What is metacognition? It's understanding how you think and how you learn and having an awareness of that. Most students aren't instinctively metacognitive and this could be something that's holding you back. So here are some common study habits that aren't metacognitive and ultimately aren't effective. Ask yourself how many of these you're currently doing. So we want to move you away from these less effective techniques and be more metacognitive. Therefore you need to know what sort of strategies are classed as metacognitive. So let's have a look at a few. Here are some things that the top performing students will intuitively do. So think about tasks and questions carefully first rather than jumping straight in. Be aware of when you're getting things right, when you're getting things wrong, and of why this is. And when you have been made aware that you've made a mistake, actually doing something about that. Rather than being stuck in a rut, trying different methods so you can establish what works for you. and just being able to accurately and honestly gauge whether you really know something. So why should you be more metacognitive? There are a number of benefits. One, you'll be, become more confident that you know things and ultimately that'll make you less stressed. You'll have practiced exam scenarios so you'll be more prepared in those exams and be able to adapt to what's thrown your way. Your memory will be better in the long term and ultimately what everyone's looking for, better grades. So why not take a look now at how you could think more like a top performing student?